from E3. I'm Michael Kuda. I'm Denise Okuda. Welcome to Game Forge. Welcome to Star Trek Infinite Space. Probably our most memorable experience was on Deep Space Nine when we worked on an episode called uh, called Trials and Tribulations, where we recreated the original Enterprise. That was really, really fun. We all worked so hard. Every single department worked hard, and uh, we got to walk down the corridors of the uh, the Enterprise. That was pretty cool. We grew up with the original Star Trek, and we just loved it. Each version of Star Trek is a, is a little bit different just because it's a different medium. Uh, that said, uh, they're, they're really doing a good job of capturing the look and the feel of the, of the dramatics of the, of, the, uh, of the politics and also, also of the, uh, the, 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 sense of, the sense of adventure, the sense of conflict. I think one of the things that contributes uh, to the feeling of Star Trek is a sense of community. It's always been about uh, a collection of friends that become a family and you work together uh, to accomplish a mission or perhaps just to get together and chat, but I think that's very much keeping with this, the feeling of Star Trek. Absolutely, love to, but actually we'd love to see it on all, on all platforms. Thank you, John. Well, the, uh, the Elkar's interface, which I designed originally for Star Trek Connect Generation, was really just trying to make something that looked like I was, I was taking extremely complicated tasks and, 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 and organizing them in a way that was very clear in a, in a way of, of, take, of taking a great deal of information and making it very obvious which things were important, which things were not, how thing, and how things are organized. Uh, the original version of the art that I did uh, was actually done with, with pen and ink and rub-on letters. Uh, it, was, it, it was well before, the, uh, they, uh, before laser, laser writers existed. Uh, eventually, yes, we, we used, uh, we used uh, computers to do most of the graphics. Uh, uh, I like Apple computers, uh, but we, we use, uh, we really did use uh, all kinds of computers. Well, uh, technical consultation is always a matter of give and take, uh, because each, each kind of storytelling, be it a television show or a movie or a game, uh, is always told within constraints. So the, uh, the game developers are all, always happening. Here's what they need to do, and here's here's what we think it should be. And, and, and with, the, with good people, you always go back and forth, and you come up with something that hopefully works for everyone. That's always the the, the way with the collaboration. And, and one thing that we've really enjoyed is that um, we start with the basics, and then we are able to explore and move from there. So that's been a lot of fun. We enjoyed the Abrams picture a lot. It was a, it was a beautifully made picture, an exciting story. It was great to see Star Trek get a, uh, uh, get a real budget for, uh, for, uh, for a change. Uh, uh, that being said, uh, our hearts are with the original Enterprise. As long as Mike's with me, I'd live in the Star Trek future. Going boldly where none have gone before? Uh, of course. Believe it or not, actually, um, Max Hederman uh, introduced us. Uh, That's true. Yeah, Denise was walking by the, uh, the, the uh, my desk one day, and she saw that that I had a Max Hederman puppet on my on my wall, and uh, uh, we both loved that show. So uh, she came up and introduced herself. Yeah, Max Hederman was so totally ahead of its time. It was an amazing show. Any of you that haven't seen it, uh, it's on DVD. Go find it. Yes, I absolutely like what uh, Gameforge has done to implement the Star Trek interface in, uh, in, in the game. Uh, you know, when we do stuff for television and, and the films, it's, uh, the goal is to make it look real, but uh, we don't actually have to make it function. These guys have that the technical challenge of actually make it, making it real, making it work, and making it logical. And you know what else is fun? 
is that um, when we were working on the series, I mean, we enjoyed our work, but it was work. And now we can kind of just sit back and enjoy it as a fan and as somebody that's seeing the Star Trek universe expanded. So it's a lot of fun for us. Oh, I want a transporter. I mean, I want to go have breakfast in Yosemite National Park. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you had the ability to have a transporter that just fundamentally changes, uh, changes the economy, it fundamentally changes uh, so many things. So yeah, that would be an amazing thing. But seriously, I mean, you look at, for example, the area of medicine. Um, it, there many of the things that they proposed in the original series have come uh, to reality. And um, think about how many people you could help. I mean, that's something that I, of course, would like to see uh, the technology of Star Trek helping so many folks um, in that area. I'm not sure if you'll necessarily ever actually see warp drive in place, but it would be wonderful to have the ability to explore space, just to send humans to explore uh, the moon and Mars and all, and all these things. Not just, to, not just because we want to know what's there, but because going there will benefit humankind. And that's what Star Trek is about. We love it. The, uh, the people from Game Forge have all been very detail-oriented. They, they respect the material. They, they, they want to get it right. They, the, uh, the work is excellent, and they're, and they're fun What's people. What's there not to like? And very friendly. I mean, that's another thing that um, you talk about Star Trek. I mean, um, that's part of it, is that we're all one people. And so it's great. We love it. Well, probably, we enjoy them all, of course, but um, probably the original series with uh, Kirk and Company is, is my favorite, yeah. Also, uh, we were lucky enough to work on almost all the Star Treks, except the original. So that's the one that we saw as kids, that's the one, that's the one that we, we, we can still be fans of and not think, oh, that's what we worked on. Yeah. Or so, in the past, oh, there's so, so many. So many. Um, uh, um, the West Wing. From the Earth to the Moon. Uh, uh, Mad ba Men. Babylon Five. Firefly. Uh, Max Headroom. Max Headroom. Mash. The Muppet Show. Yes, we love science. We, we loved the, the new Battlestar Galactica. Mm -hmm. We loved Firefly. You know, we love Caprica. All, all these, all these great shows. I have two favorite Star Trek movies. I know it's cheating, but I have two. Uh, as, a, as a fan and as a viewer, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, uh, to me, and I think to both of us, yeah. it comes the closest to, uh, to capturing the, the, uh, the spirit of Star Trek. But for me personally, Star Trek IV, because it was the first Star Trek that I worked on, so it's very special. And it was a really fun film, too, so. No, that too.